Hey guys and girls, Nathan Birch here uh, in my awesome tie-dye jumper here. It's a hoodie, Von Zipper make them, pretty cool. Anyway, today I uh, just wanted to catch up and talk to everyone just about, you know, building a property portfolio. Uh, you know, I quite often talk about the importance of building a foundation property portfolio. Foundation portfolio is a portfolio of your first, say, 10, 15 or 20 properties. Uh, once you've built the foundation, then you can do cool stuff on top of that. And, you know, the importance of having a foundation portfolio, I've made videos about this before and I won't go too long on it. The importance of making a foundation portfolio is to make sure that, you know, if you stuff up things in your life and you've got these 10, 15, 20 properties that you've bought for, say, 200, 250 grand, whatever the case may be, properties, and they go up from 200, 250 to 400, 500,000. Um, these things here are gonna be the bread and butter that will get you through life. Important to have a foundation portfolio. Uh, I recently caught up uh, at a, a weekend retreat at, our, uh, at a resort up on the central coast at Magenta. And um, yeah, we're running through um, with our investors just you know where they're at touching base with our, our clients which have built you know 10 20 properties in their portfolio a minimum entry to get in there was having 10 properties that would help you secure uh, in your portfolio so it was a cool weekend um, the thing that um, that you know stuck out to me was you know we build a property portfolio get our foundations right but what to next and I knew for myself when I quit my job, 24, 25 years old, whatever it was, it was a while back now. Um, from my perspective, no confetti fell down from the ceiling. No, you know, no one patted you on the back and said, you know, you've made it or anything like that. It's a, it's a gradual uh, realization of, you know, of all the efforts you've put in to get to where you want to be. And, you know, what, what I observed, um, you know, and observe around me on a regular basis is, you know, I've literally, like from a company perspective, uh, be invested. We've helped, um, you know, hundreds of investors achieve, you know, extra, extra, astronomical, astronomical results, phenomenal results. Um, just getting off the freeway here and uh, getting a bit sidetracked with my words, but um, you know, it's it's something that um, you know, I look at people's net worth position today and when they came in to see me three years, four years, five years ago, and you know, I, I, I don't know how many people win lotto each year in this country that we live in, but you know, I'm pretty confident that we've probably made more millionaires than lotto does uh, over that period of time. And that's, you know, it's not for people being lucky or anything like that, because I know the sacrifices and I've seen, you know, the sacrifices that those that are around me that have achieved phenomenal sort of results, um, you know, the, the sacrifice that they've taken. Um, and to see, you know, and, and really just have an event where we can see where others have come from and where they're at and their current positions and all that sort of stuff. You know, it's really awesome to, you know, to, to, to sit there and realize that I see it like clearly, like clear as daylight, but you know, those that, that are in the position you know, they just think it's normal because it's like if you're getting fat, you know, you don't notice that you're, you're fat. You don't just wake up one day and go, I'm fat. Like you just progressively put on, a, you know, a couple of kilos here, a couple of kilos there. Uh, if you're losing weight, you don't notice that you've lost heaps of weight because, you know, you look at yourself in the mirror every day. And, you know, what, what goes on after you build your foundation portfolio? Where do you go with your property portfolio? Where do you go with your investing? And, you know, what, how do you make it? You know, so you can live life on your terms, and you know, I think it's important. Uh, let's just pull out a a, a, a a scenario, like a hypothetical scenario here. Let's say that Jack and Jill have bought, you know, fifteen properties now, um, and they paid two hundred thousand average ticket price for a purchase on them, uh, and now the properties are worth, say, three hundred thousand. That's fifteen properties times a hundred grand profit. It's one and a half million bucks. When you start investing, do you have one and a half million bucks available at hand to invest? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But that 
solid foundation base is you know bread and butter mums and dads are doing it all around the country and for you to be able to you know take that to the next level if you pulled out like let's say for instance your portfolio is neutral or positive by 20 grand or negative by 20 grand you know it's all relative um, if you're if you're pulling out some equity to put into your next project or into your next acquisition and it is slightly negative after doing that or whatnot you know so be it it's a cost of doing business you've just made one and a half million dollars and your portfolio is negative by 20 grand at the moment and then next year you put the rents up on your 15 properties by 10 bucks per week there's 150 bucks a week um, you know that's seven and a half grand a year uh, extra rental income it will you know you need that foundation prop portfolio to buy you options what the foundation portfolio does is buy the options to get your dream house to be able to get yourself in a position where you can tell your boss where to go the foundation portfolio is imperative uh, where do you go after that you know it's important like the markets are constantly changing and uh, you know you could pull out let's say for instance you're Jack and Jill and you made yourself a million bucks one and a half million dollars sorry so you pull out a million bucks of that and you go and buy a property where you can I don't know build, buy a block of land build a house on it and make yourself 200 grand you can use that like how many people make 200 grand a year like CEOs and stuff make 200 grand a year um, you know from a perspective of normal mums and dads and whatnot um, you know an average wage in this country is something like it's under 60 grand a year it's like 50 grand a year so you know that could be like two years of someone's wage three years of someone's wage um, from that perspective you know it gives you the option to be able to do that it gives you an option to build cash flow you can go and buy a block of units which are highly cash flow and bring yourself in 50, 100 grand a year cash flow from that. Do I suggest that someone goes out there and buys a property from day one to build a house? You might have 150 grand in equity to go and do so, buy the block of land and build the house. You don't choose to build the property portfolio and the foundations and you end up you know, purchasing a block of land, build a house on it, sell it. After your 12 months, 18 months of messing around, you're sitting in a net position of no property with 200 grand in profit you know it's still an okay result but you're being an active investor and i like to be uh, a passive investor when investing and kind of you know not lazy but i just prefer not to have to go and you know know that i have to go and make my next mill stamp i want to make sure that it's going to come in reoccurring and that's the importance of building a foundation portfolio uh you know, I've, I've had people say to me, you can't make money in regional areas. Like I bought back in the day after I built my foundation portfolio, like dirty houses in regional areas that needed to be renovated and, you know, they were burnt out, kicked in, whatever. And, um, you know, they were good cash flow. I got good cash flow on them. Then I built myself a passive income stream from that. And then after doing that, I ended up, you know, selling the properties and making a, a good profit on them. I've got a block of units at the moment that are up for sale. Um, I don't advocate selling properties, it's not my thing, it's just not to sell properties, but you know, if the opportunity comes and I feel that I've outgrown that property sort of type or whatever, I will offload a few of them. Um, I've got this block of units I paid 200000 for, and going back a few years ago, off the Department of Housing, they were in pretty poor shape when I bought them. Uh, you know, I've got buyers all over them at 600 grand, that was about three to four years ago. Uh, that thing rents out for a thousand bucks a week, fifty grand a year on a two hundred grand purchase. Are those deals out there straight away? No. Like the, the the opportunities do come up, but they are high risk. You need to put in equity. You need to you know if something goes wrong with that, you don't want it to be your whole portfolio. So you know as as your portfolio grows, you know you should be changing and evolving and and and, and changing what you do. Every market changes, and you don't expect it to stay the same for the next decade. Otherwise, you won't be making profit. So, you know, I guess my main point out there is to, you know, sometimes A, we don't know how good we got it unless we take the occasional look back and go, okay, this is where we are today, this is where we started, this is what we've achieved. Um, and then, you know, not being, you know, stale about it, not just saying, okay, I've done that, that's cool. 
going, what's the next challenge? What are we doing for the next bit? How are we going to, you know, turn an awesome Jack and Jewel property portfolio of 15 properties and $1.5 million in growth in the last two years, three years, whatever the case may be, into, you know, 100 grand a year passive income so I can tell the boss where to go uh, or, or, or whatnot. So, uh, you know, having the foundations right, analysing and re, re you know, re looking at the position of where you're at and uh, constantly taking action and, and pushing yourself forward to the next level. On that note, guys, gotta go. Uh, we'll catch up soon. Have an awesome day. We'll speak soon. Bye.